Let us move on to the new contenders this week. I thought Caitlin Epperly actually emerged as a serious, serious season nine contender. Nobody said it was easy. It's such a shame for us to part. That version of The Scientist I thought was beautiful. What she did with the tempo and the choices that she made with some of the notes they took the song in a slightly different direction, but it made sense. It kind of made sense that the show was four hours long because I thought that it would take that long for her to finish. But I liked her. I thought it was good. I think feel like she's kind of getting the Janelle Wheeler vote. She's the cute one, but unlike Janelle, she actually can sing a little more. I was, she has more talent. It's funny. I dismissed Caitlyn going in as right. the pretty girl slot. Right. But I think that she's actually really one to keep an eye on. I think she could be the dark horse this season. Congratulations, Caitlin. There's been also a lot of buzz for Siobhan Magnus. What does that mean? I think Caitlin Epperly actually sang better than Siobhan mm -hmm. this week, although Siobhan hit that note. Whoa! Amazing. I mean, the rest of the song, <laughs> train wreck. But you don't take too much high see you what you do. And she sort of performed it in a very season two, like, walk around the stage, <laughs> hey there now. But that note was sort of like, amazing. I think that note is going to be a recurring theme this year. Whether Siobhan progresses and continues to get better or whether she nosedives, that note gives her a lasting mark. And I love her. She's just, nine. she's so weird. Can I just say that I yes. figured out how to do that, how to belt that high in the shower singing Kelly Clarkson. You've got to root for her. The other person I think this week who, you know, had a bit of a moment was Lily Scott. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Not a flawless vocal, an interesting vocal. It made me a little uncomfortable watching her sing Change Is Gonna Come. When Adam sang it, he could be talking about gay rights. And at like... the time, it was the possibly gay rights movement because we <laughs> right, didn't exactly, know. Right. But nonetheless, I mean, everyone understood. Change is gonna come! Even though I really like her, it just felt like, what change is gonna come? Is your hair gonna be blue next week? Change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. The other person who emerged this week, kind of out of nowhere, Alex Lambert. Still can't believe you found somebody new, but I wish you the best, I guess. Compared to the steaming pile of dung that preceded <laughs> him, he was like a garden of roses. I wish the judges had been a little bit more constructive with him. There isn't a person out there that isn't rooting for you. He needs to have his natural talent molded. They need to say to him, learn how to phrase a song. Don't just mumble the end of a line. Read those lyrics before you start singing. Read them conversationally and understand what you're singing about, because he's got to get better if right. he's actually going to be a contender. I think if you overhype him at this point yes. in like top 24, top 20, then he's gonna crash and burn by the time it's top 12. Yeah, there's work to be done. You can't go up to a building site and see the foundation and be like, this is my dream right. home. It's just a foundation. 